Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is how you make an entrance, carrying yourself with the utmost poise and pride. Lashley holds himself to the highest standards. It's propelled him to multiple world titles in main events. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here he comes, the franchise of WWE. Listen to this place. No one else gets a reaction from the crowd like John Cena. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all time, John One of the most powerful competitors in WWE history. Now, yeah, Never Give Up isn't just a t-shirt. It's a legit way of life. Big match, John. Ready to go to work here tonight. Hey, it goes like this. Eras change. Championships are won and lost. But there is one constant. And that one constant is John Cena. And this one should really be a hard-hitting affair, thanks in a large part to Bobby Lashley. Lashley has never held back a day in his life, even if the competition wishes he would. The almighty spirit is always at work, and the results clearly speak for themselves. They really do, Byron. There's a reason Bobby Lashley has remained so dominant over the years. Well, it's all well and fine, but he's still facing off against John Cena, whose strength and perseverance are kind of unmatched. Yeah, you have to be prepared to match Cena any way you can because he definitely isn't going to take any shortcuts here. And Lashley gets thrown away. Lands the elbow. Saw that one coming. Whip back into the ring. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Gorilla press slam. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. John Cena not looking so at home after taking that hit. Such physicality from Lashley. Oh, right to the throat. Look at this matchup here, Corey. What do you think John Cena needs to do to find a way to win? I think Cena just needs to do what he does best, react to the moment. John has an unparalleled nap. Taking flight! Oh, that's it. What a splash! The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Elbow drop. Piercing. Lashley is... Oh, no, it's... Roll up! He kicks out instantly. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. Pulls their opponent in, belly to belly. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, back elbow. Cena's toughness gets put to the test again as that hit lands. Lashley is still putting every ounce of muscle into his offense. 
crank in the head. Bobby Lashley, he's got that look in his eyes. He is determined to finish off his opponent. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Straight impact on the throat. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, uh, this isn't going to be good. Gut buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. Dodged right on cue. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. And did you hear the impact of that? Drops the hammer right on the lower back. See? Uh-oh. He foiled that attempt. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance. Power slam. Wait, 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 wait. And he easily stops the ref's count. Close call, but not enough yet. Back elbow. Jeez, you see that? John Cena is in quite a bind. There is no way this can go on for much longer. If anyone can make a big comeback, you know it's John Cena. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Nice counter by Cena. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Gut buster. Across the shoulder. Filthy. Elbow drop. Piercing. Reversal on Lashley. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Cena has no control here. Cena having trouble getting his bearings. Down face first. The power, the dominance. This is who the Almighty is. Bobby Lashley stuck spear by Lashley. Cena wasn't ready. Could be over. Two. What a kick out. I don't believe it. There is too much pride. There's too much hustle in John Cena. And for all of Lashley's power, for all of his force, he could not deliver the final nail there. And finds a counter. And Cena puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Cena's never give up attitude shining through once again. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Shoulder tackle. He's one step ahead there. Carefully placed stop to the arm. He's heading up top. Thinking. Oh, look out. Oh, straight to the floor. A gruesome landing. I don't know how you walk away from that. Powerless position to be in right now. Uh-oh. No! Cena with the reversal. Not the position you want to be in right now. And he gets delivered back into the ring. John Cena with a rough blow there. Vicious right forearm. And that attack has to weaken Lashley even more. Yeah, things are getting very dangerous for the Almighty. Away. Shoulders down. No, he beats 
starts to count. Lashley able to find more power in that endless tank of his to get the shoulder up. But Cena now can't take his foot off the gas. He was almost at the finish line. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Oh boy, here we go. We've seen it once, we've seen it a thousand times. It always works. Look out. Driven down hard. Lashley avoids impact. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Inverted tree of woe position now. Stuck in the tree of woe and being viciously kneed over and over again. Into the abdomen. Elbow drop. Piercing. Chop block. Oh my goodness. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Lashley is just a punishing force. Lashley possesses such a dangerous arsenal. Lashley caught by surprise. Crucial turnaround there because Cena is falling behind. Could be what Cena needed to ignite a rally. there where I wasn't. Oh, hold uh -oh, on a second. Hang on. Oh, you can cut the tension in here with a knife. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY! Gargano and Ciampa back together again. It's so great seeing DIY reuniting and getting things done. And they look focused on getting back on top.
Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown. You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. Say what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. It's an instant party in the WWE Universe whenever the Street Profits are in action. Montez and Angelo have certainly set themselves apart with a tremendous amount of swagger and athleticism. Yeah, Michael, it's that athletic prowess that has made the Street Profits triple crown tag team champions when they want the smoke. On oh, the leg sweep, and now into the... He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Kick right on point. Put into the corner now. Dawkins with the reversal. Punch connects. Trouble here. Oh, look out. Oh, oh, no. shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Devastating poison rock cover. Shoulders are down. Oh, just inches. Millimeters from a three count. Woo, that was close. Angela Dawkins with a well-timed shot. He got whipped into that corner. Tag made. What do they have in mind here? Splash! Big clothesline! In stereo! Uses the edge of the knee. What's coming next? Back suplex! Very nice. Lands. Powered them up. No. Here come the punches. And breaks up. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Oh, 
saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Wow, what timing beats the count. Seemed like a count out to me, guys. Oh, a jumping DDT. And he goes for the pin. Big kick out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Yes, tag. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oof, that can knock you out. Montez Ford with a strategically placed shot. Caught with a punch. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Champa is in some serious trouble, but Champa will do anything to get back in this. There's a tag. Oh, body on body. That has to take all the breath out of you. A kick out before the referee can get to one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Ah, oh, knee smashing the face. And just look at the damage to Montez Ford's face after that shot. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Nah, look at this. Oh, shoulder, elbow, all affected with that. He gets tagged in. That'll leave a mark. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He's able to beat a two count. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Champa skillfully counters. And Tommaso looking to deliver Project Champa. All rolling through up top. Oh my. Cross neck breaker. And the kibosh being put on Montez Ford there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. And he sends him. Tag. Tag. <laughs> Did Johnny just put an end to this? Try to end it. And he makes the save for his team. Grim determination on Champa's face, preparing one last move. Oh, not everyone can do that. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out, but no one is thinking about quitting. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Bam! Down he goes. Attacks from the arsenal of Montez Ford. It is all Montez Ford right now. He made it. Tag made. Oh, jarring back elbow. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, they've stuck it up through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Tag. Last second knee to the face there. Tommaso managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Tommaso was getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. The 
looking wobbly in the corner. Shark punch. Tags him in. in the making. How in the world is it going to end? Gut buster. Good no. Counters. He turns it around. Super kick. Gosh. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Flex Tope Atomico. Drop kick right on point. Ford did his homework there. He's got him in the crosshairs. No way. Somersault plancha. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that one is. Right in the face. My God. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? 
and gets tossed back into the mat. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. DDT! And Gargano's failing to make any advances. Johnny's got to start reversing his fortunes. Placed into the... There's the tag. These two superstars planning a double-team maneuver. That could be curtains for Johnny. Cover! Oh, I thought it was over, but again! Can we please get some control? Someone hold the roof down, because I think it's coming off the hinges. What an atmosphere. An insane amount of adrenaline must be coursing through these competitors' veins. And another counter. Excellent opportunity for Gargano to shift the momentum. Gargano trying to bring the fight back in this one. Is it enough? The cover! He did it! He did it! Here are your winners, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! A tough loss handed to DIY here. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Wrestling is here. Quite the impressive young talent. Let's go! Let's go! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Hey, Indy, uh, once held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. Get ready for some higher learning. And representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Hair. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight. Or else they'll be put on double secret probation. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Thank you. 
If asked to sum up Indy Hartwell in one word, I think most people would go with impressive. Her combination of skill, power, and determination is really something. You also have to respect the heart Indy Hartwell brings to her game. She doesn't let obstacles discourage her or make her lose sight of her goals. She keeps chasing after her dreams. Indy Hartwell looking to remain impressive with her performance in this match. And forget everything you thought you knew about Thea Hale. She's got a much-needed whole new attitude. Thea is adamant that she is her own woman now, ready to make her own choices and take what is hers. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. There's a Russian leg sweep. Ooh. Rapid fire rights over and over. Just going all out with every blow. Oh, what a close lock. Boom, a forearm smack. Oh, what a counter. And set right into the corner. Thea gets the better there. Corey, we know what Indy Hartwell is capable of. Is that going to be too much for her opponent to handle here tonight? By all means, Hartwell is a powerhouse, but she's not the most experienced competitor on the roster. She could pin her opponent right here. She gets a quick kick out there. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's <laughs> fight. Ooh, look at her answering back. Boom, what impact. Wow, Jack. The fatigue is... This could be it. Cover. She kicks out with authority after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Man, looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Slugging it out toe to toe now. That holds back Hale's attack. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Oh, man. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Submission locked in, nowhere to go, nowhere. Has the arm trapped her, and the arm trapped. Oh, oh man. Scratching and clawing, this could be it. Shoulder shoots up before two. Wow, I thought this was over. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Indy Hartwell is trying to ramp things up. Running knee! Hale able to ward that off. Tackles ruthless. And this has got to be it! And a major victory in her career tonight. Indy Hartwell falling short tonight, taking the loss. Yeah, Indy Wrestling gave it her all, but tonight was not her night. Hopefully, she figures out a new game plan.
It's Miz and Misses. are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. Forging a new ruthless path. And his opponent from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Damon Kemp. Damon Kemp now looking to take the spotlight for himself. He turned his back on the diamond mine. Yeah, Kemp is set on ruffling feathers, really, of everyone in the entire locker room. Which is why everyone needs to look out for Kemp, because he is dangerous. Damon Kemp got tired of constantly being in the background. Yeah, he doesn't care who he's facing. He just wants to prove himself. Dogged determination sees him rising quickly now in the men's division. You know, before arriving here, Damon Kemp was a highly successful collegiate athlete. He competed in both freestyle and Greco-Roman wrestling. Without a doubt, Cole, he's a world-class athlete. But most importantly, he's figured out how to put his past experience to good use while also embracing professional wrestling. Yeah, Kemp's proven himself to be a real bruiser between the ropes, as well as someone who's as rough and tough as they come. And then you have The Miz, who is probably more concerned with protecting his moneymaker than he is actually competing in this match. Oh, what a shock. Biased Saxton strikes again. The Miz is as successful as he is for a reason. He knows what he's doing both in and out of the ring. Like his music says, the A-lister came to play. Remember that. Definitely not the show of respect that Kemp expected coming into this. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. If you were taking on The Miz in the ring, what's a distinct weakness of his that you would target? I personally don't see. He can do it here. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Miz telegraphing that one. Oh, what a tackle. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Lands an elbow. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Answering back. And Damon is in a daze. It could be the end for him soon. Oh, he knew what was coming. All the way up. The power of the gut red suplex. Go, go, go. 
Up into the electric chair. Oh my goodness! Into a German? Two! No! The Miz is still alive! This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And Damon pays for leaving an opening. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Jeez. Oof. The man is dealing with the effects after that move. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Ooh. Oh, across the top rope. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Oh, and a stop. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. And Kepa showcasing in his arsenal. Maybe trying to damage Miz's pride as much as his body with these attacks. The Miz looking off balance mentally here. Right to the face. My God. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. with an elbow to the stomach. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Inverted DDT. Oh, now it's roll up. Kicks out. Almost inhuman at this point. Would you look at this? She is removing the... He thinks he has it. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. <laughs> Miz counters with an attack. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Power. And this is good. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Setting up again. The Irish curse. It's all Kemp's for the taking. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. He wasted no time kicking out there. How at this point? You don't even stay down long enough for a one count is beyond comprehension. So much torque on the knee and ankle. And Damon has earned the upper hand here. Yeah, Miz is having trouble fighting back. Gosh, what a match. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. And Cap continues to undergo an assault late in this match. That's Miz saying he'll fight until every breath is out of his body. for leaving an opening. We're off to see. Oh, no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. Got the, and he very quickly counters. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver.
We are about to witness youth and power personified. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. Brutus has been fighting his entire life and he shares the Creed mindset with his brother Julius. And that mindset is absolute domination. Here comes an all-American blue chip talent in Julius Creed. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. Julius Creed, a hybrid fighter of different caliber. Julius can match power with larger opponents, stay in stride with quicker competitors, or go hold for hold with grapplers. Here comes Master Gable. Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. Look at that face. A man possessed. And representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds. Oh, I don't know that we have ever seen a super heavyweight like this. The circumference of Otis's neck is bigger than most people's waists. He truly is a walking tree trunk. And ever since Otis joined the Alpha Academy and became the number one guy, I have to say, this is the best he's ever looked. Look at that face. Ugh, I'd rather not. We got the bell, and you know we got action with Julius and Brutus, the Creed brothers. Mind-blowing power, superior mat technique, and unbelievable athleticism puts the Creeds on a different level as far as tag teams. Julius and Brutus will mow through each team one by one if that's what it takes to prove they're the best tag team in WWE. And they're about to learn a lesson in excellence from the Alpha Academy. You have to admire how this group operates like a well-oiled machine. They train themselves to be the pick a pin his opponent right here. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Getting him into the corner. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, man. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Uh-oh, gonna try to break the leg. Ouch! Leg breaker. Very measured elbow drop. Uh -oh. 
Headlock applied, and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Good golly! Caught by surprise with that clothesline. Oh, uncorked a big punch. the top rope with what a hot shot. And Creed can't stop any offense coming this way. Gable proving difficult to keep up with here. Brutus there meeting an obstacle to overcome. An excellent example of the wrestling knowledge Gable possesses. Still again. Yikes. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Placing them into the corner. Boom! What a right. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. And he's able to reverse. Laying into the arm, big time. And like a pine, and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Great tag team continuity, double team incoming. From out of the corner, into a fireman's carry, nicely done. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Oh, so athletic. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Power from the suplex. Oh man, he has fired up now. Oh, wrestling down. Line. It cinched Looking to free the arm and does just that. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Elusiveness from Gable. Got him set up in the corner of the rack. He cinches Julius in. here. Cover! He keeps his team in the match. Not where you want to be right now. Otis was just a step slow. What a shot. That turns it around for Julius. Looking for a scoop slam. No, it slips behind. Inverted DDT connects. Just punched him right in the middle. Yes. Enough already for the victory here. And he kicks out of the pen in one. Still not enough to put him away. Sent into the corner. Reversal! What a counter! He switches it back around. Oh, man. Military press! Dominance. He's getting pushed. He may get the three count right here. This is it. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get that will end it. Here are your winners, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. I don't think the Creeds are going to take this one lying down. They'll be back and better.
you are looking at the future of the bloodline. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Solo is a man who annihilates the competition with ruthless and unflinching efficiency. We've learned that the enforcer of the bloodline is not about talking. He is all action. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Xavier Woods is here. Please, no trombone. I'm begging. Play it. Play it. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, one of the few nerds on Earth that can actually beat you up. A video game and pop culture fanatic loves that stuff almost as much as he loves competing. Almost. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> We're live with Xavier Woods. One thing we know is Woods likes to come out with a burst of adrenaline. Woods has that look in his eye like we're going to see something special tonight. Xavier has unbelievable instincts and is not afraid to roll the dice on a high-risk move. If he's fighting, he's got a chance. He's got to get through the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, though. And Solo is not someone you just get through. Uh, most superstars are lucky if they can simply survive Solo. He's just so menacing. Hey, look at my arms. I've got goosebumps, and I'm not even in the match. Ow, what a forearm. He had it scouted. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. And he's taking this to the outside now. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Check to the midsection into the hammerlock. I think we know what comes next. DDT! Oh, God. Corey, we know how intimidating and devastating Solo Sokoa is when he gets going. What do you think is the key to overcoming a competitor like him? If there's one thing about Sokoa that could be his downfall, Cole, it's the fact that he can be a bit of a hothead, which is why if you're going to go up against him, you have to be the one to stay clear-headed. As much as he drives through his opponents like a big red truck, you cannot let him get to you no matter what. The headbutt to the gut! And Xavier Woods reverses. Well-placed kick. Really just laying it in. Ooh, he's looking a little off balance. Xavier proving too much to handle with that. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Jarring impact. Saw it coming and got out of there. Bulldog! Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Ooh, yes! And able to beat Woods to the punch. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Followed by the leg drop. Just caught flush. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh, and then the chest as well. Makes the cover. And he manages to kick out at one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Uh 
Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Right to the kidneys from behind. but he can't take his time. One. Xavier Woods with a wheelbarrow face buster. What an inventive attack by Xavier Woods. Woods always finding new ways to surprise us. Toss back into the ring. Oh, referee in the wrong place at the wrong time. competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Uh-oh. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Winding up. Samoan spike. Woods is down and he might be out. Cover. We got a look break. has come unglued. Rightfully so. Got him where he wants him. Up and down. Fucking arrow. Incredible. And Xavier Woods says it's time to turn up. He moved, but can he capitalize? Just reinforcing his offense there. Yeah, Solo could be looking for that home run very soon. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Russian leg sweep. Measure it stomped right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Ooh. Looking for a Fisher and Suplex able to counter. Oh, countered into a clothesline. Uh oh. Punching their way out of that one. And you can see the effects of that on Sokoa's face now. This could be big, going up high. Xavier Worth walking the top rope. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. In full control here, face first. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Lifts their opponent's oh, legs. And oh. just, ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Oh, look. 
going to torture their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. From the top. Oh, Samoa Joe from Solo Sokoa. So much malice and vitriol behind that attack from Solo. Well, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, his opponent's pretty hurt, I think. He's certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come more on, what does he get out of this? What's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE United States Champion and the WWE I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Get on your feet and show some respect for the ring general. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gonta! We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books, becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No Mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred, and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. Here in WWE, Gunther is known as the Ring General, a fitting name for a savvy in-ring veteran whose cunning tactics and ruthless execution are razor sharp. Few superstars are as commanding between the ropes as Gunther. No wasted movement, no foolhardy attacks. Gunther is the very picture of steadfast control. I'm sure the Ring General is intent on taking full command of this match and forcing things to go his way. And he should be thanking Logan Paul for this match. He's about to get a lot more social media followers, courtesy of the social media megastar. What a counter! Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Looking for something here. Wait a minute. Hoist it up. Oh, my goodness. Draped across the barricade. The incredible self-confidence of Logan Paul on full display. Logan Paul still relatively new to WWE. What do you think his strategy should be here? I think whatever he's doing has been working great so far. He's a born competitor with a legitimate background who already competes like a seasoned vet. I have zero notes for this kid except to not get too caught up in his own hype. From down below, ouch! Specifically targeting the leg. Control. Planning on what to do next. One man take this could do it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. What a drop kick. <laughs> Grabbing a hold of the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. What a shot! He skirts away, living to fight another day. Taking this to the floor. On the leg sweep, and now in he's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. Two at this point has got to say something. Able to avoid any harm there. Oh, an inverted DDT. Lives to fight another day. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, my! He's in a little bit of trouble now. Goop. Oh, oh, it's it cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, my gosh! Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no! From behind, chop block. And he stonewalls Logan. Oh, short arm chop. Uh, Paul creates an opportunity. Big long line. Stomping down. Big cross body. Off into the pin. Two. He narrowly avoids the count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove it really has the upper hand here. Yeah, competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Face full of turnbuckle. Using their boot on the throat in the corner. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. How humiliating. Logan Paul's in a daze. This could be over soon. Muscles up there. Pulled up and driven down with Emerald Flosion. Gunther, what just happened? I'm not sure if he's foolish or courageous, but Logan Paul keeping himself alive against all odds. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. 
Rake right across the back. Oh, my God. A DDT. Spiked him. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. And I get that Paul thought he had him there, but he really needs to follow up. He can't let time cost him this match. Targeted stomp to the arm. And Guther now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Logan Paul going to work like a seasoned veteran out there. The kid just gets it. Good timing with that reversal. going to take to keep this guy down. He is looking to do some serious harm. Whoa. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. <laughs> Boom! Boom, what a kick. Oh, and he's able to counter. <laughs> Gunter from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Where now? Choke now, locked in. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh. Oof. And returning to the ring. Say what you will about Logan Paul, the kid's got confidence. Plunge out to the outside. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Whoa. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And Logan is taking command of this one. It's certainly a smothering offense from Logan here. Oh. Delivers the leg drop. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Kick gets caught. Now that was athletic. And Paul caught by surprise. Claw in the face, is this necessary? Oh, the claw, not to the face! Where else would they do it, Saxton? <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Fist to the skull. Will that do it for Logan Paul? Oh, the oh, that's one. And that's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on uh, his opponent. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove?
the voice of the voiceless has returned. set off an entirely new era in WWE. But oh, how times have changed since then. Yeah, when you think about the past accomplishments, Corey, CM Punk has been a WWE champion. He won Money in the Bank, so many other titles. But this current version of CM Punk is driven to surpass those past achievements. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And his opponent from Sherald's Ford. I'll tell you this much, the monster of all monsters is more than just a nickname. This monster has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with every giant in WWE and slain them all. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Here we go with one of the most controversial and polarizing figures in the history of the WWE, CM Punk. You don't reach the level of success he's reached without ruffling feathers. Sure, he might be out of step with the world at times, but that doesn't make him any less of a threat. Punk is as lethal as ever in the ring and on the mic. We're definitely going to see what Punk has added to his arsenal since stepping away. But let's not forget about the path of destruction that Braun Strowman leaves in his wake every time he enters the ring, nay, every time he enters the arena. Yeah, Strowman only has one thing on his mind at any given moment, and that is destroying anyone who sets foot in his path. I have to say, Braun Strowman is fast for his size, but if you're unfortunate enough to be facing him, you can still use your speed against him. Try to outpace Braun and tire him out if you can. Sounds like speed could be the key to getting the better of Strowman. Ooh, what a calf kick. Drop kick with precision. Strowman able to get out of the way. He's taking some good hits. Set up in the corner of the ring. This superstar blowing their opponent. Look at this. From corner to corner. And again. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Uncorked a big punch. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, oh what an axe handle. Waist lock applied and countered into an arm drag. Oh, with authority! Elbow drop. Piercing. CM Punk headed to the top. From way up through the air. And connects! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. And now gets tossed into the ring. Check out the springboard. 
Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Put it in a position now. Can't prepare your face for that. Strong counter from Punk. Ringing the arm. Looking now for a top wrist block. But this opponent still fighting back. Right into the corner. Oh! Short on clothesline by Punk. Ah, look at this. Oh, that might have just broken something. Able to get the advantage here. Tossing them aside. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Dead in their tracks. Not finished yet. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. A little oh. insult to your injury. Ooh, a sharp kick. And look at this power from the monster of all monsters. Monster slam. Will it pay off for Braun Strowman? Two counts. Uh, the competitor now, exhausted after that match. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? What's the meaning of this? Trash talking. Well, agitation from the top of the ramp. Apparently yeah, we've got a new robbery on our hands. The crowd is on their feet for the Empress of Tomorrow. Charismatic, cunning, and commanding. A superstar in every sense of the word. Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner, Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold too.
Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers gain, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. This is what these competitors have worked so hard for. The Women's World Championship in the balance. And here we go. These women ready to push themselves further than ever before. All in the name of being the women's world champion. Each woman is more than happy to mix it up and go places she's never been in order to leave here with the gold. Well, this looks like it's going to be another certified banger. Watch out. Good Lord. Taking flight. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. What a double axe handle. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Uh-oh. Back elbow blows that one up. Oh, man. 
Corey, as we get deeper in this match, what do you think will be Asuka's key to success? I mean, besides just being Asuka? I don't know if intimidation alone will win it tonight for Asuka, so I'd have to say simply asserting her dominance as often as possible. Never slow down, never let up on the offense. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. And the only reason to do that is to get under the champion's skin. Oh, saw it coming. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Asuka timed that one well. Covered by the champ. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Rhea with a reminder that the pain she delivers is no dream. She sent flying into the corner. Stops Ripley's attack. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! oh goodness gracious. I love the champion's mindset here. Nothing fancy, just trying to deal out as much damage as possible. Ah, oh, barbaric amount of stomps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. And one more for good measure. Asuka's being overwhelmed. Precision attacks, courtesy of Rhea Ripley. Boom, did you hear the impact? Oh, hanging on for dear life. No, oh, an alley-oop bomb. She powers out immediately there. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Yeah, Rhea capitalizes there. Oh, there's a headbutt. A bad place to be for the challenger. And you can just tell Ripley enjoyed delivering that punishment. Oh, stop right to the hand. Thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here. She flips it back on her. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Down with a face buster. Mommy's brutality simply can't be contained. Matches the arm into a takedown, armbar, a plot. Will they tap? Oh, man, there's no... Oh, what a reversal. Great move. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. Scooped up, tilt the wall, slam. Shoulders down, championship on the line. it more. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, she's looking drained. I don't know how much. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. That unraveled on Asuka. Saw that one coming. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. And Ripley gets some brutality thrown her way now. If Rhea wanted a battle, she's got one right here tonight. She dodged that one nicely. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Bang! Both knees into the face. Oscar got out of the way. Countered into a jawbreaker. Bad predicament right here. Check your face out of that one. Now a series of vicious stumps.
Rhea looking to end this one right now. This will do it. Submission locked in. You can see the agony on her face. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Taking flight. Diving body splash. That's got to be it. There's two. And the champ stands tall once again. She successfully defends her crown. She's not losing this title that easily. She's got her sights set on a long reign.